JPL Telecom was founded in 2004 by husband and wife James and Elaine Clark. This was following the success of a previous adventure with Quiller Electronics. During James's time with Quiller Electronics as a director and engineer, he gained a vast amount of knowledge and experience supplying components, offering design, advice to industry sectors such as aerospace, computer PC and telecoms. In the early 2000s, a major telecom company moved their operations abroad and left a gap in the market. And when Quiller was successfully sold in 2004, it became a natural progression to take all his design skills and private experience to form a new enterprise. In addition, Elaine, who previously worked in the technical department of a large manufacturing business, brought her experience in commercial research, production, quality control process, and joined James on his journey. Let's fast forward 18 years, and JPL has grown substantially with offices in the UK, USA, and Europe, and we export to over 50 countries worldwide, with plans to continue expanding even further. We're extremely proud that our hard work and success has been recognised, as this year JPL received the Queen's Award for Enterprise in 2022 for international trade. As the company grew and were able to take on more administration staff, more focus was placed on designing our own innovative products. One of the main strengths in our range is the patented TT3 Element headsets. This provided the perfect solution for the ever-growing number of organisations where environmental impact and product endurance were essential considerations. The TT3 Element range of sustainable headsets has the unique ability to remove the boom from the headband, so if a part of the headset ever breaks, you only need to replace that part of the headset. This increases the life of the headset, decreases the cost of ownership and reduces the amount that has to be thrown away. Let me tell you about our software last approach. With the growth of unified communications and hybrid working within the industry, JPL was focused on developing an easy to use secure products using a software last approach. Software last means that you don't have to download a product to be able to set up and use the device. In other words, they become plug and play. Most of our USB devices now feature this software last approach as they can be specified without the cool control button. Through listening to our customers, we have discovered cool control, also known as cool accept and reject, is not always practical to most users. But when it comes to security, we haven't stopped there. In 2020, JPO expanded its range into video conferencing with our first 1080p webcam, and this year, we introduced the new JPL Vision Access for PC or laptop users. Simply, this uses facial recognition technology to enable the user to open secure websites and portals without the use of onerous passwords or pins. The Vision Access completes our video range, which now includes five core cameras with our JPL Agora, JPL Spitfire, JPL Vision Mini Plus, JPL Vision Plus, and now the JPL Vision Access. We believe in building long-term partnerships and we'll continue to listen to our customers to develop a range of solutions with them in mind, focusing on sustainability, security, ease of use and durability. If you'd like a demonstration, quotation or sample of any of our products, please reach out to our local sales team, from our reseller, distributor to our sales staff. Quote James Clark in this recording. Thank you for listening and we look forward to any feedback you might have.